Module 7, uh, I've got a super box in front of me and we're going to hook up a liquid level probe, so come around. If you've got the faceplate on, you got six screws that you've got to take out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've already done it for the sake of time. Do not leave any ribbons, cables, or anything connected. Please disconnect everything. This is very fragile. Once you do that, set the actual faceplate to the side. On my left hand, I've got a liquid level probe. This one is color blue, uh, and it means that it's explosion proof. We have non-explosion proof level probes as well. Those are gonna be colored black. So blue is what we're gonna work on. So what we're gonna do now is take you through the electrical connections. Please take out your sheets and follow along. So you'll notice here that you'll have your liquid level probes going into your UB plus and UB minus. How can you tell which one is which? If you go to your level probe, you'll notice brown is gonna be plus, green is gonna be negative. Brown plus, green negative, right on the label. So if we take our brown cabling, as stated on the actual probe itself, your brown is gonna be your plus and your green is gonna be your negative. So being that brown is plus, we're gonna go into your UB plus, which is the very first slot in this module. Then we're gonna go UB minus on your green, which is your second slot from the left. So again, Brown will be the first slot on from the left, that's UB plus, and then green will be UB minus. And this is where you're gonna make the connection from a liquid level to bring in signal and ground into the actual board. One last point that I do wanna highlight on this tutorial is always keep in mind, say that you're working with a two hose unit so you're gonna have A and B live, as well as A and B slots for your pulse meters and liquid levels. So if tank A that's labeled, say, you know, diesel for instance, that pump power is gonna come here and out to a contactor relay. We're gonna talk about that in module number eight. Here you're gonna have your pulse meters for tank A, and you're gonna have your liquid levels for tank A. So you have to match A and A for pumps, A and A for pulse meters, and the same thing for the liquid level if we're gonna be tracking inventory levels on that tank, which is, you know, in this case, in this example, label A. If we were working with the second tank, which is now here on this slot B, this will be your second tank B, pulse meter B, and liquid level B will go in here. And so that will translate to C and D as well. So something to highlight, keep track of how you're working and how you're organizing yourself as you wire the systems.